Hey everyone, today we are going to put two primers to the test to see how well they perform in general, and more specifically, how well they do against each other. On one side of my face, I will be applying this beauty. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It is $30 for the larger size, which is 1.52 ounces. This little guy is 0.33 ounces and is $15. Some of the key ingredients include hemp-derived cannabis seed extract for hydration and smoothing, as well as it has antioxidant properties, blue agave extract to smooth and hydrate, aloe water, hyaluronic acid, and it is free of a lot of things like sulfates, silicones, parabens, formaldehydes, phthalates, mineral oil. It's also gluten-free, vegan, and cruelty-free, and oil-free. On the other side of my face, the contender here to see if it is a dupe is this guy. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer, 12 hour makeup grip plus hyaluronic acid. It only comes in one size. It is $6.96 for one ounce. And the key ingredients according to the website include hyaluronic acid and blue agave. It is also paraben free, phthalate free, and sulfate free. The ingredient list on both are pretty extensive. There is a lot of overlap. There are a lot of various extracts, botanical extracts in both of them. There's no cannabis seed extract in this one. I will say that the order in which the similar ingredients are listed are different, so there are obviously different concentrations in each one. I will put a link to each of them, uh, so if you want to go through the entire ingredient list, you can feel free to do that. They are supposed to have the same general effect, which is they are supposed to be very gripping and hold that foundation in place, as well as hydrate, which I could use because I personally have very dry skin. So I'm gonna put the Milk Makeup on my left side and the hard candy on my right, and let's go. I might have to bust into my backup. We'll see if I still have any left. So the Milk Makeup is a clear plastic with a pump. I'm just gonna put one pump on the back of my hand. It is a clear green gel. I'll dot it on this side of my face. It feels pretty thick on the skin, and it does kind of have a tacky, sticky feeling to it wipe my hand off and so there's no cross contamination now on this side is the hard candy it is a soft plastic squeezy tube with just a you know normal opening it appears to look pretty much the same I would say a brighter green dot this on this is a much thinner consistency it doesn't feel like I mean it's a gel but it feels more like a serum so the texture is different and I will say it spreads more easily. I'm not fighting it to get it across my face. I do wanna make sure I get the side of my chin. For today's foundation, I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation plus skincare. Um, I wear it in the shade Fair Neutral 11. I will use the same kind of brush, but two separate ones so I don't cross contaminate. And I'll be using my favorite foundation brush probably my favorite brush of all time for all kinds of things, the BK Beauty 106. Okay, this is the Milk Makeup side. I don't notice any difficulty in getting the foundation to spread evenly. Doesn't seem patchy at all. Coverage is fabulous. I started to dot it on the other side and stopped myself. Could use a little bit more. I am going out today. My husband and I have a date day planned and um, we're gonna be outside and walking around and I know there'll be a lot of masks going on and off all day. So I'm really putting this through its paces, which is also why I'm kind of loading up on the foundation in this area because masks do not work well with foundation. Okay, with a clean brush, I'm now applying the rest of my foundation to the hard candy side. I don't really notice a difference in the way that it's applying, but maybe as you're watching it, you can see if I'm wrong. You know what, I do notice that it's gliding on a little better. There are some little patchy areas on this side, like right here. It's clinging to some areas and not others. It's not clinging as much on this side. Now that could be good or bad, because if you want the primer to grip, it's doing its job, but I would like it to grip evenly. Foundation is on. I'm gonna finish up with the whole rest of my face and I'll check in really quickly once the whole face is done. But my initial thoughts are that 
it was easier to apply the foundation actually on this side. Now that I think about it, it just went on more smoothly, blended more quickly, but I don't know that that's necessarily a good thing if I'm looking for a gripping primer. I decided of course today to test out a new eyeshadow palette and this is so bad. I mean, right out of the gate so bad that I have to share with you and then try to salvage my makeup look because I do want to look nice for my day date. This is one of the new-ish quads from Flower Beauty, their Petal Envy, I think Petal Play, and this is in the shade Gilded Lily. I have never actually experienced an eyeshadow that does not move. It does not budge, it does not blend. This dark brown shade, I mean, what is it? I tried and tried and tried nothing. Also, all three of these shades, basically the same shade in different finishes. We have like a satin finish, we have a matte finish, and then we have a glitter finish that, this is glitter, like I had to pack it on and nothing happened. It's terrible, it's terrible. Do not buy this. Like, just, it's not expensive, but don't buy it. I'm sorry, Flower Beauty. There are many things you do well. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Your original quads were incredible. Just, no, okay. I'm gonna try to salvage this with a different shadow on top and God knows what. I'll be right back with my finished makeup. Okay, I am back. Not a good makeup day, just documenting it. I tried to save my eyeshadow look by putting one of my go-tos, the Shantikai, what is this actually called? It has a very long name. Shantikai Luminescent Eyeshade in the shade Cheetah. It's just really pretty soft gleam. That definitely helped. And then I thought I would try out some more new Flower Beauty. That was, a, Okay, they sent me the Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara, and I have loved this in the past. It was big, thick, voluminous, dark black lashes. This is like tiny little spider. It's terrible. It came, it's a brand new formula, and it's super dry. This did not mean to go in this direction, but I'm gonna give it you know, a little more time, maybe let it get some air in there, it'll improve, but I had to slap on another go-to, the Wander Beauty Mile High Club on top of it to try to salvage something. It looked like I had no lashes. It looked like I had no mascara on. It was very strange. And then um, a highlight, literally, of my makeup look that I am pleased with is my highlight, which I've mentioned earlier, but just so you can catch it freshly applied, it's the Buxom um, Wanderlust Highlighter in White Russian, which is part of their new White Russian collection. I went with the collection and used the Full Force White Russian Lipstick, and then I topped it with the um, Plumping Lip Cream in White Russian. I don't know why, I guess for the car ride, because I'll have a mask on once I get out of the car and anything. All the rest, outfit details will be down in the description box. I'm gonna get my day started, and I'll check in with you and let you know how things are going. I'm doing my afternoon check-in. Okay, I admittedly have had far too much to drink in the middle of the day, but I just wanted to pop in and give you an update. We had a lovely lunch and about, well, one full glass of wine, six wine tastings, and my lunch included bread with olive oil, and I don't think my, my chin did not fare well, and the mask on, mask off. But here we are, this is the milk makeup side. This is the hard candy side. Now, this is a little unfair. I do have some blemishes on this side, but I would say pores look a little more filled in on this side, like smoother. Well, I don't know, guys. I think it's pretty even, all things considered. Hang on, let's take off the hat. See how that held up. Oof. Hard to know. I'll come check in when I get home on the big camera and see what we can see. Hey everyone, so you might be noticing that the words you are hearing are not matching up with the way my lips are moving. And that's because I swear I think this video is cursed. I actually filmed this on two different days. And on the first one, the lighting went wonky. And on this one, visually we're good. But the very last clip, I forgot to turn the mic on. And as you're watching this, I'm actually on my way home from a little week out of town and just could not refilm this a third time. So what you're seeing here is me telling you about my day and how on one side of my head, I had my hand resting on my head while we drove home. And on the other side of my head, I had uh, the phone pressed against my head as I was on in like an hour long phone call. So here you are seeing up close and personal both sides. That's the milk makeup side facing you. And there is the hard candy side. 
And I'm here now discussing the fact that really having olive oil drip down my chin is not really fair because oil breaks down makeup. So there is just nothing that is going to resist the power of olive oil. So we're not even going to look into that too much. But here I am just gazing back and forth at my face. There, again, a nice dent in my forehead there. Basically, I'm going to take a long time to sum up what is the truth, which is that both sides seem to do about the same. Now, remember, I didn't use setting spray. I didn't powder throughout the day. I just put it on first thing in the morning and then went through my day. So does this grip um, your makeup? Yes, I think it does. Does one side perform demonstrably better than the other side? I'm going to have to go with no. I think they both perform equally well. Technically, the milk makeup side may perform a tad bit better, but when you factor in the price point and you get twice as much uh, product for $7, just under $7 versus $15 for the, well, actually the full size is over $30. So for a quarter of the price, you get essentially the same product. I mean, if you're into all the little products, all the little ingredients, I should say, that are in there, as opposed to the hard candy, then I guess it's worth it to you. But on a performance basis, I'm looking for more important ingredients in my skincare, not in my makeup. So on a performance only basis and factoring the cost of the two products, I'm gonna have to go with the hard candy. Now I have sensitive skin and have not had issues using either product, so that's great. But overall, um, my gut says go for the hard candy, um, which is available online at Walmart. Um, if you can't get to it, then obviously go for the Sephora one. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.